It's actually putting its DNA into your cells. And so unless all your infected cells get killed, you're just gonna keep making it. So we, we can, very good, mm -hmm. amazing. Students in Blair Hatch's class are learning about physiology and multimedia. You need to find a good picture of an antibody binding with an antigen. When class is over, they walk just across the hall where they study art with Jeff Robin. An easy way of making it look three-dimensional is to give everything a little bit of a shadow, like on the arm and on the blood, everywhere, okay? The students are working on one project in both classes. We found good yeah. sources. We have 10 sources right now. And it's all about blood. All of our classmates are studying different aspects, like the art of blood and blood in religions and, you know, like AIDS. The blood project is something that students will specialize in, doing art around it doing research around it and presenting that research in, a, in an audio-visual format on DVD. What's going on here? That's a fat that builds up. Students are creating multimedia exhibits that will be displayed at a local art gallery and will promote blood donation. So let me tell you a little bit about the blood bank. San Diego blood, blood bank director Ramona Walker the visits the class to provide background information. Yeah. Um, has there ever been a time where the blood supply has been really low? Well, you know, yes, actually. About it's much more ago, engaging when you do it this way and when you actually get to do the project and create something at the end and not only teach ourselves, but teach the community. And maybe you could put what it's about in that same kind of text here, here, and there oh, to balance okay. it out. Robin makes sure students get their hands on every phase of the project, guiding them through the design and construction of the dioramas. So you can come in and come in sideways into that. This is something that I think is real life. If they're going to get a job when they first get out of college, it's going to be doing something visual. It'll be something to do with the computer. And they're going to have to do something for their bosses to put together a presentation. And that's what this is about. Uh, is Did Blair okay? approve those writing things? With our scripts? Yeah. He hasn't looked at it yet, but I mean... Show I'm... it to him before you start writing on this. This complex project has many interlocking yeah, assignments yeah. and deadlines to keep track of. It's so complicated, and, and planning it, just making a calendar, what you're going to do every single day for a whole semester. With this, you have to be right on it, or, or all hell breaks loose. Hatch posts the curriculum on the school's website, and students turn in their work as part of their digital portfolio. They don't hand it to me, they post it, and they keep it as in their sort of virtual locker. The advantage of that for me is that at the end is you're going to see what this student did week two, three, four, five, six, all the way down the line. So it's real process oriented. They'll send me a link to their DP every two weeks. It's the same link, but by sending it to me, they're saying they've updated it and they're ready to be assessed. So I assess it by going and finding the things that are due. That's how we communicate. That's how I keep the student accountable. Yeah. So they're going to meet with you on Wednesday for posters right. and then meet with me on Thursday for visual scripts. Well, that's right, tomorrow. Hatch and Robin meet every morning to coordinate the project. The fact that we have teachers coming in here an hour a day before the kids is the unseen structural feature that really makes this place work. We're trying to create an environment where all of our adults are engaged in learning together. You, you like the way the poster is, therefore we have the art. To get him to want to be partners with me and to do this, I learned about iron and oxygen. So most teachers don't go out and learn another subject area, but you have to do that when you do this team teaching, project-based learning. The heart has to pump constantly. So it's important that you know what the other guy's teaching, but that makes you a, a lifelong learner as well. And then that's a good role model for students to see. So, yeah, I like how it bounces back and forth. Yeah. I've learned a lot about my own teaching practice by being interdisciplinary and thematic with another professional. It's creative, so it keeps me on my toes. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.